Hiya folks, I'm John Denver, and I'd like to invite you to join me here on ABC for a little music in the mountains. That's the Rocky Mountains, of course. Hiya folks, I'm John Denver, and I'd like to invite you to join me and James Galway and Itzhak Perlman and Miss Beverly Sills for a little music in the mountains. We'll be right here on ABC. I promise you a wonderful show. Did I say Rocky Mountain? Okay. Hiya folks, I'm John Denver, and I'd like to invite you to join me right here on ABC for a little music in the mountains. My guests are James Galway, Itzhak Perlman, and the beautiful Miss Beverly Sills. I promise you a wonderful show. Did I say Rocky Mountain? Music and the Mountains will continue in a moment. Not 
<laughs> I think as much me as you, we have the capability with uh, the work of what the people doing back in the back of the recording studio of overdubbing. So if you hear a great goof here, but on the television show, it sounds wonderful. <laughs> You'll know that we cheated a little bit. <laughs> also, I think in the program that were passed out, you posted a little piece of card. If you would like to leave your name and address on that card, we will notify you at the exact date and time that that show is going to be shown as part of the country. I really hope you enjoy yourself. At this point, I would like to begin our program by introducing to you the man who's always been my arrangement conductor. I, quite frankly, I think that he is the finest composer and conductor of Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lee Holden. Uh, I didn't remember to wait for your cue and all that stuff. Is that okay for you guys?
can't remember when I've ever been so lonely. I forgot what it's like to be home. Can't remember what it's like to be home. But I think of my lady, sweet memories. I think of the children. Sweet smiles. I think I'd my home at Starwood and Aspen. All my friends and the snow covered hills. Oh, my friends are the snow covered hills. Can I tell you I'm happy to be here? It's a long way from this place to Denver's near. Long time to hang in the sky. It's a long way home to Starwood and Sweet, sweet Rocky Mountain Paradise. Oh, my sweet Rocky. Hello, folks, and welcome once again to the Rocky Mountains in my little hometown of Aspen, Colorado, one of the most beautiful spots in all the world. Now, Aspen's known mainly for skiing, but it has an entirely different side, and that's the time of the year when music starts to echo through these mountains, and the Aspen Music Festival brings together some of the finest musicians in all the world. Add that to all the things that you can do here when the snow is gone, and you have a pretty good idea of what our show is all about. My guests tonight are Itzhak Perlman, James Galway, my very special guest star is Miss Beverly Sills, and I've got her riding a horse, if you can believe that. I've also got her singing some pretty nice songs. Stick around, folks. It's a wonderful show. Jesse went away last summer, a couple of months ago. After all our time together, it was hard to see her go. She called me right up when she arrived, asked me one more time to come. But living on an LA freeway ain't my kind of having fun. I think I'd rather be. I'd rather ride the rain I think I'd rather be cowboy Than you lay me down in love And ladies pain I 
such an easy way Laying back up in the mountains Making love for summer days She got tired of picking daisies And cooking my meals for me She can live the life she wants to It's, it's alright with me The absence of her laughter is a cold and empty sound. Her memory always makes me smile, and I want you to know I love her, yes, I love her, just enough to let her go. I think I Miss Beverly Sills, definitely one of a kind. Opera star, and yes, cowgirl? Hold together. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy introducing the mountains to people. I wouldn't have missed it for anything. I'm sorry about the rain. Here's a little sprinkle going on. There's very little snow. Following one of the most dazzling singing careers in the history of opera, Beverly Sills has moved on to become general director of the New York City Opera Company. And it's easy to see why she's one of the most beloved personalities in her field. Right up above the ridge here, Beverly. You know, it's like a chunk of my youth, because when I was a little girl, I used to do jigsaw puzzles with mountain scenes just like this. So how you doing? You all right? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> You know, I've heard of horse operas, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> My special guest star, Miss Beverly Sills, Rocky Mountain style. Oh, no, 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 no,
lot like New England with the color change. It's really my favorite time of the year in Colorado, yeah. is the fall. We'll be back with more of Beverly Sills, plus James Galway and Itzhak Perlman. Don't go away. Can you imagine a more beautiful setting for a music school? You know, back in the 1800s, this place used to be a silver mine. But these days, it's home to about 900 students who each summer come here to learn from the musical masters and to gather inspiration from the mountains, the forests, the rivers, the birds, the animals, and each other. Doesn't take too long to find out that it's working either. Just listen. Every year around the middle of June, the students and teachers begin arriving in Aspen from all over the world. Before long, the town is alive with over 900 young musicians settling in for summer classes. Getting acquainted with the town may come first, but making music is what the festival and school are all about. The standards are high, and as things get into full swing, the town and surrounding mountains become filled with the sounds of arpeggios and scales. Nobody wastes a moment preparing themselves for a rigorous audition by music director George Mester. <laughs> It all began over 30 years ago with a special celebration attended by Albert Schweitzer and Arthur Rubinstein, both musicians themselves. The idea of centering a music festival in Aspen grew slowly into what it is today. With the raising of the tent and arrival of over 150 pianos and other instruments, the Aspen Music Festival and School are declared officially open. Before the summer is out, over 80,000 international visitors will attend the concerts hosted by board chairman Edgar Stern and President Gordon Hardy. <laughs> yes, I know. This is the break of a rehearsal this morning at the Aspen Music Tent for a concert that's going on this afternoon featuring the most famous and by far the most popular flutist in the world, Mr. James Galway. And Mr. Galway recorded one of my songs on an album a little over a year ago. Uh, the song was Annie's song, and he has consented this morning to our doing that together. And I am thrilled to death by that and also nervous. <laughs> I don't believe it. Are you ready to do it? <laughs> sure. All right. The man with the magical flute. You fill up my senses Like a night in a forest Like the mountains in springtime Like a walk in the rain Like a storm in the desert Like a sleepy blue ocean you fill up my senses, come fill me again.
my senses Like a night in a forest Like the mountains in springtime Like a walk in the rain Like a storm in the desert Like a sleepy blue ocean you fill up my senses, come fill me again. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And now, I'm very proud to introduce to you the one and only Mr. Itzhak Perlman. Thank you. 
It's Ak. You know, I really find it hard to believe that I've got you out here fishing. You know, it would be really great if we catch a fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right! Yay! All right! It's Yay. a rainbow! It's a rainbow. So I pulled that ball. Got it. Oh, that's a big fish. Gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, better throw him back in the water. Give him a chance. Don't go away, folks. We'll be right back with Beverly Sills and Itzhak Perlman. It's by far the hardest thing I've ever known To be so in love with you and so alone Follow me where I go, what I do Make it part of you to be a part of me. Follow me up and down, all the way and all around. Take my hand and say you'll follow me. It's long been on my mind. It's been a long, long time I'll try to find the way That I can make you understand The way I feel about you And just how much I need you To be there where I can talk to you When there's no one else around Follow me what I do and who I know Make it part of you to be a part of me Follow me up and down All the way and all around Take my hand and say you'll follow me You know I'd like to share my life with you to show you things I've seen Places where I'm going to And places where I've been To have you there beside me And never be alone And all the time that you're with me Is when we'll be at home Follow me Make it part of you to be a part of me. 
follow me up and down all the way. Take my hand and say you'll follow me. Bluegrass has always been a popular form of music, but I'll bet you've never heard it played with a 110-piece orchestra. Well, the sailor's gone, the room is bare, the old piano's sitting there with someone's hat left hanging on the rack. Empty chairs, a wooden floor that feels a touch of shoes no more, waiting for the dancers to come back. And the fiddles in the closet of some daughter of the town. The strings are broken, the bow is gone, and the cover is buttoned down. Sometimes on December nights, when the air is cold and the wind is right, there's a melody that passes through this town. Picking and singing with the Aspen Festival Orchestra is a real treat. But it took the fabulous Itzhak Perlman to give us a taste of down-home fiddle the way only he can play it. Go for it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> has long been known for its creative atmosphere, and through the years it has stimulated a wide variety of artistic expression. Not many people think of bodily combat as an art form, but Thomas Crum, president of the Aspen Academy of Martial Arts, demonstrates the dance-like art of an ancient oriental discipline known as Aikido. Aikido is the art of harmony a way of life which integrates physical and spiritual growth through the coordination of the mind and the body.
Aspen may be a long way from the Orient, but I'm sure the ancient masters would approve of this beautiful setting as a home for their teachings. Whale bones and crosses stand against the Arctic sky. Wind blows through the graveyard where our fallen fathers lie. Eternal snow that covers them. The shadows of the sun, the mighty struggle on the seas, a way of life is run. I'll sing for you, my father, for the ancient sacred ways How the hunter loved the hunter How the night becomes a day The circle of the mighty spirit keep us in its fold The warmth of understanding like a light shot through the cold. Then bring to me my people, touch them with your loving hand. Lead them from confusion, lead them back. We'll be right back with more of Music and the Mountains. Summer in Aspen. Brilliant days, high in the Rockies. There's lots to do, so Annie and I get out and enjoy all the town has to offer. Like an impromptu performance by the Aspen String Trio. <laughs> or challenging the champs in a local softball game. He's out! What? What do you mean? 
When the big kids are through, the little kids take over. Everyone takes advantage of the warm weather while they can, especially in a town as sports-minded as Aspen. To the kids, this ballet class is just a lot of fun, but to us parents, it's a great way to interest them in the art of movement and self-expression. It takes years to perfect the graceful movements of dance, but from the dreams of little girls, future ballerinas are born.
Does he call? Because he called the earth his mother. They drove him out into the rain. Some people. The boy from the country was insane. Because he spoke to fish in the creek. He tried to tell us. That the animals can speak. Who knows? Perhaps they do. I know they do. How do you know they don't? Just because they've never spoken. Left his home when he was young. Born from the country, he loves the sun. He tried to tell us we should love the land. We just turned our heads and laughed. See, we did not understand. Is the only one who sees. Cause a boy from the country doesn't want to see the forest. 